Hey guys, welcome back to Hermit's Reloaded. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, so things may look a little bit different. I'm I'm checking out um some resource packs. Uh, this is Faithful. Uh, it's Vatic's Faithful. Uh, well, it's you know Mr. Busy and Vatic. Vatic, sorry. Um, but uh, I've got the vanilla version and the modded version, but. Yeah, something, something ain't right. Some leaves are like this, and some are not. Um, I can't actually, it's it's mostly like oak leaves, and then obviously those, but I think, no, those are, yeah, it's really weird. <laughs> it's really weird. I don't like it, I, and I am on fancy graphics, so, you know, that's not, see, like, yeah. So, I don't, I don't know. I may have to... Remove them. I was, you know, I figured I'd give it a try. I don't generally use resource packs on modded. No real particular reason. I just, you know, it's one of those things. Like, I'll use them on vanilla, but generally with modded, I don't. Because, you know, there's a lot of machines and blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, it's, you know, it's one of those things. Uh, but I'm still out looking for Enderman. I figured I'd come here look for Enderman because, I, you know, I've been everywhere else looking for Enderman. So... Might as well come here, right? Um, I've been going out at night to the desert, looking there. No luck. Well, I mean, some luck. Like, I'm I'm getting Enderman, and and I think I got one Nebulous Heart. I can't remember. I I can't remember. I did get all the witch hats uh, that we need. I got... Um, oh, God. What else did I get? I got, I got other stuff. <laughs> Just other stuff. You know. Stuff. Um, yeah, so, you know, it's, uh, it's one of those things. It's, it's going to take a minute to get all the stuff we need. Is this one we've been to? Wait, no. I don't want that. Yeah, we've been, okay. Wait, what is that? I think that's the Lich Tower. No, wait, the Lich Tower is over here. What is this? Hmm. I do not know. All right, um... So yeah, I just wanted to bring you guys in, just show you that, you know, let me let me know, leave a comment what you think about the texture pack. Uh, obviously, I'm going to see if I can get this taken care of. I think if I can get those leaves to look normal, um, I think we may go with it. But I, you know, obviously I want y'all's input, what y'all think. Um, and then, you know, if, obviously if y'all are against it, then so okay. good. No, uh, <laughs> then, you know, we'll, th we'll, you know, we'll see. We'll see what do. But, oh. I need coal. Give to me the coal. Thank you for the coal. You can see my level. Yup. Uh, it's one of those things. So, anyway. Yeah, let me get back to this. Hopefully, we can get the Heroes Medallion today. Then we can leave the Guardian Farm going. Hopefully. Um, and I'll be back. Alright, guys. So, all told, we've got, so far, two Nebulous Hearts. Um, I've killed a lot of Endermen. <laughs> and that's with looting three. And we've got two nebulous hearts. If I was using my brain, what I would have done is got another soul shard and then killed the Enderman, right? But then I would have to make sure that I only kill Enderman, at least until the soul shard has Enderman on it. I don't know. Anyway, uh, so I've got a thing out here. You can see this here is a tank. And it is, it's empty currently. Um, but it is a tank. It does, you know, it, it's going to hold fluids. So I think what we're going to set up, or at least try to set up, is one of these here fluid tree extractor doohickeys, right? So we're going to have a guy there. Yeah, well, let's let's put it, let's put it there, right? Because we're going to have the fluid go in the in there, right? Yes. Okay. And then we've got dang it, <laughs> dang it all the dang. It. I was trying to make sure I was prepared. Nope. Aha. Boom. Oh, did I forget? Uh-huh. And did I forget? Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, how do these? Okay. Just wanted to make sure they placed the right way. So I made, I actually made another one of these block placers. And then I broke it and it disappeared. I don't, I don't know what happened to it. No, this is a different one. Trust. Um, it was sitting here. I broke it. And it's gone. 
I don't... Ah, I don't know what happened, but whatever. And guard deer is still guard deer. Yes. Okay, so... Uh, let's go ahead and break that one. Let's break that. Let's get... Some stuff going like so. And then hopefully we can place that. Aha. Very good. Uh, so this does need a redstone signal. It's, it's, yeah, it's fine. All right. So hopefully we should be able to do that. Ah, and then that, and then this should only place blocks uh, when it gets a redstone signal. Okay. So these, I don't think these are affected by redstone at all. So we should just be able to go boom. All right. Very nice. And so then we're going to go I'm trying to think of what the best way to do this is. So I guess we'll just go like this. Oops. All right. And then Let's, I guess we'll just come over here. And then some of these will disconnect, like we don't need that one or that one, right? Or that one. Okay. And then we've got these servos. There we go. Very good. And hopefully uh, this does the thing. Aha. Yeah, baby. Twelve hundred of the latex. So, what that means is this is going to go for a bit. I'll get some more wood in here, uh, so that way you know it just it it keeps going. I don't think we have to use like yeah we don't have to use oak. Um, we do have, or at least we did. We got a little bit of great wood that we could probably put in there. I think it just checks for logs. It doesn't care. Uh, so this should get us a little bit of something, something. Um, and that gives me an idea because, so I tried to make the Zy, the Project X, Y, whatever tanks. And I, you know, someone left a comment basically like, are you stupid? <laughs> and uh, I don't think I am, but maybe I might be. You never know. You never know. Okay. Um, but I didn't realize that there was actually a valve from a completely different mod that, uh, you make the tanks out of. So there you go. <laughs> it's from the fancy fluid storage, uh, which is, you know, what we have over here. I did make the, the computer. I don't know what this does. I guess maybe it, it's got to have power. So let's go, let's just go stick it over here for a second. No. Nope. Uh, Hmm. Maybe it's got to be part of a tank. It might have to be part of a tank. I don't know if that's going to get rid of the stuff, but. Oh. I don't know what that does. <laughs> I don't know what this does. I mean, it's just like looking there, right? Like, I don't. Maybe it's just for visuals. I don't, I don't know. Huh. Anyway, so the, yeah, you know, that's the thing. All right, uh, maybe it's for redstone control. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, that gave me an idea uh, for the base place over there. Uh, we have that. Okay, we've got that. Oh, we need a pump. Oh no, wait. That okay. So that's that's one of the reasons we're making. Uh, we're going to be making plastic, is so we can make the fluid pump. You can see it uses four plastic sheets or whatever. Yeah. So that's going to be a thing. Um, I don't know. I don't think you can turn IC2 plastic. Oh, you can. IC2 rubber. Oh. Oh, wait. Do I have rubber tree? Oh, see, this is something I did not know. 
Okie dokie. I will have to get... Okay. That might actually be a lot faster. Actually, that is a lot. Okay. You, guard deer. You're coming with me. All right, so... Over this way. Mm-hmm. Over this here way. Let me go get some rubber trees and blah, 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 and I'll do this, and then I'll be back. All right, guys. So I've done a bit... Uh, I've changed a thing or two about what my plan is. <laughs> so uh, we need to get some of that. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna make ourselves a black hole tank right here. Uh, so you can see it's some eyes of Ender, Ender pearls, machine frame, couple buckets, and some plastic. Uh, we got some more plastic in there. Uh, we've got the rubber trees over there. Ah. Uh huh. Okay, blades, there we go. We've got these guys in here. Uh, let's grab a third one, just because. Alright, so we need two of those to be that. We're going to need two buckets. And then... Oh yeah, the machine... Oh yeah. Tin gear. Um, Black hole tank. Boom. Boom. Aha. Yeah, baby. All right. So if we come out here, you're going to see I have a little bit of a thing set up right here. So the original plan, <laughs> I, I, the plan has changed a couple times. So we started with this to get plastic, right? It's making latex. So it's good. You know, this will help us get plastic in the future. Uh, then we switch to this. Uh, just because it was going to be quicker for, you know, immediate needs. This is long term. This is short term. Uh, and, until we can get to where we can extract, you know, from the wood and from the resin and, you know, all that stuff. Get it, blah, blah, blah. Right? So I think what we're going to do. Hmm, let's set it here. And then, oh, man, we're going to need more fluid duct. All right. That's uh, copper and tin, I think, right? Copper, tin. No. Wait, is it? N no. <laughs> Dang it. Copper. Ah, oh, of course it's lead. Of course it's freaking lead. Of course. Wait, is it? Wait, can't you make clear? Wait, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I think I'm going to go with this. All right, so we've got that. We've got this guy here. So I was actually, like, I was, I was starting to set stuff up. Or, you know, getting ready to set stuff up. And then my patrons were actually talking. And they were talking about power. At the exact same time, I'm like, hmm, I need to work on some power. Because I want to get some power going, right? But, like, the way I was going to do it, it, it changed. <laughs> it changed. So hopefully this works. We should be able to put that over to there. And then just have these guys spit out the top. Right? Is that working? Are you going to do Please, you auto extract. Auto output enabled. Please, poor favor. You know, we may need to put this on the top. Okay, can I? Hmm. Or on the bottom. Sorry. All right. Oh, oh my god, I also got. Uh, the last um, nebulous art. Uh, if we come in here, la la la. Sorry, I'm just like, I'm kind of all over the place today. Three nebulous arts, so we I think we can finally make that guy. So I think we're just going to, we're going to bust that guy. We're going to do a little something like this. It's fine. It's whatever. It's whatever, honestly. Wait, do these have to be on dirt? No. Okay. I was kind of worried these guys might have to be on dirt. Really? Dang it. Yeah, that thing didn't have unbreaking on it. Should have another... Oh, that's almost dead. Okay. Let's just get a new one. There we go. Perfect. And that. Okay. All right. And then we're going to need two. There we 
go. Sorry, I was I was really trying to have all this set up before I started. We don't need light. I just I, I want to keep bats from spawning and stuff. All right. So if we stick the black hole tank here, here, and then these guys, no, these guys, it should work this way. <laughs> it should. All right. So if we come out here because these things, you know, they're affected by gravity because they're not vacuum or pressurized or or anything of that nature. So if we come in here, please. Thank you. Okay. Uh, there we go. So all of those are dumping their contents, except for that one. Eighteen hundred resin. So to get the resin, apparently the spruce, from what I understand, is the best one to use. Uh, I'll link it in the description where you know, like the video I got this from. Uh, because like I said, they were just talking about it. They linked a video to one, you know, one of them was like, hey, this is what I'm using right now. Um, I'm not looking for, you know, permanent power right now. I'm looking for uh, just getting this going, right? So then what we need, is it an extract? No. Oh, crap. Um, <laughs> thermal. Is it dynamic? No. Thermal. It's one of these guys up in here. Blue transient energetic diffusers. I think it's this one. Which whoa, what is this? Nickel and oh, okay. Okay. So yeah, I'm pretty sure we gotta get a fractioning still. So what's gonna happen here? These guys don't require power. They're gonna extract uh the resin from this, right? Right? From this tree. You can see it, it is going up. And then we're going to pump that resin into a fractioning still, which will turn it into rosin. From the rosin, we're going to put that <laughs> into uh, a steam dynamo like we have in here. Like this guy is going to use that instead of the coal. But that's not what we're ultimately after, right? What we're ultimately after is the tree oil that is produced by the fractioning still which will go into a compression dynamo. That is still in here, right? Yeah. So to the compression dynamo with some water, and this will make power. It'll make a million RF per bucket of tree oil. So <laughs> it seems like a bit of a process. But if it works, these will forever extract fluid from this they have to be at the base of the tree apparently the tree has to remain on dirt the tree has to have leaves on top it cannot be a player made tree i mean obviously a player grown tree but you can't like place all the you know the blocks and put some leaves on top and then have these work i don't know how it knows uh I, i'm pretty sure the game can tell if it's a player placed block or not so this is the thing this is these like i said these will forever <laughs> can you know extract out of here we can you know obviously expand this this is something we can have like in the mining dimension we just have you know a chunk there just with a ton of these trees a bunch of the extractors uh we can even you know like kind of put another tree uh here right put a tree actually no like just to you know get everything nice and tight so we could put another tree, say, here, right? And then put the, you know, more of the extractors like this. And that way it uses, you know, the, the least amount of space possible. You get all this stuff, like, kind of just <laughs> snaked around through it. It'll be good. Hopefully it works. Um, This is just going to be, you know, going here. I mean, let me get all this, you know, some more of this stuff crafted. And I'll be back. All right. So I think I'm ready to set this up. I hope. 
Uh, so I think what we're going to do, we're going to do this. Uh, actually, I need to put that one. Actually, no. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to go down. We're going to go down. Um, really? <laughs> I mean, every word of that. Okay. Uh, obviously, a lot of this is going to be moved over, you know, into the that place over there. But I'm trying. I'm still trying to figure, you know, what we're doing over there. Um, so it will be moved over there at some point. Uh, it's just that point is not right now. Um, hopefully soon. Yeah, hopefully. All right. So here we are. This is where we want to be. We want to be coming into that. Uh, so we do have some hardened flux duct. I don't think we have enough. But we're going to come over this way. Okay, I think that's where it's going to be. All right, so then we have... Oh, man, so much garbo in our pockets. So ingots can go in here, glass, redstone, tree tap. Okay. Hopefully that's good enough. All right. So let's get down up in here. Son of a bird. <laughs> okay. We're going to do this and go under here. All right. So I think the way this is going to go is this it's gonna go there uh this fractioning fractionating still is gonna go here we're gonna go ahead and boop like that right so now this guy here steam dynamo uh we're gonna go ahead and swap him there we go and then we should be able to get Aha, uh -huh. aqueous accumulator. Yeah, we'll put it there. No, wait, yes. Okay, need a freaking bucket, son of a. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. All right, we're going to need that. Well, we, we don't need that. Uh, bucket. I keep forgetting I'm using my buckets in recipes and then not making new ones and all of that. So you can go there. You go there. And then we're going to... Stick a guy there. All right. So flu duct, boom. Right. We're gonna grab a servo, slap it on there. This guy, configuration. So this is the right side. So we need input resin. Oh crap! No, no. Dang it. Oh no. Uh. Wait, why aren't you? Hmm. Not sure why that's not putting power in. Okay, so I get okay. <laughs> I didn't pre-build this. I'm doing this like you know, just uh, uh, yeah. right, so you and you go away. You go away. I I'm sure I'm making this much harder than it needs to be, but it's fine. Okay, so we got that going into there, and actually, couldn't we just set that next to that? Put on auto input. Oh, it's unavailable. Oh, okay. We need to, okay. All right. So we need 
water, right? Water. That way, this power doesn't actually need to come here. Why am I putting this here? Okay. It's fine. It's fine. All right, so this guy. Water. Blue duct. All right, so hopefully... Find it. Sorry, I'm just, I'm, <laughs> I thought I was prepared with this and apparently I'm not. So are you doing things now? There you go. All right. So that should go into there. Now we just got to get power into that. Which we will do. Okay, we need to. I was trying to. I was trying to bury it, but we're not gonna be able to do it. So it's whatever. It, again, it's not permanent. So I, I keep just like I, I got to keep reminding myself it's not permanent. Um. Put that there. Let's go ahead and flip it. All right. And then uh, we'll just use some leadstone for now. All right, so that has power. This is not getting power. Does it not actually have power in it? Okay, there it goes. I, I, I guess it didn't actually have power in it. But this is now, as you can see, it's starting to make stuff. Uh, using a coal, coal was way too much. We could have just used a few sticks like he did in the video. Um, but what this, what's going to happen here is so out the back of this guy, which is this one here, we're going to go like that. And that should... Auto output. Uh, it should go out. There it goes. Okay, there it goes. Uh, so that will continuously power this. But that's not what we're interested in. What we're interested in is this. Uh, so this is tree oil. Yes? Yes. All right, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to pipe that over this way. I should have made another tank, but I didn't. So it's fine. All right. So we're going to... This is going to need water, too. Crap. All these things I'm forgetting. All right. So I guess uh, we could... Well, hmm. We're just, hmm. Okay. I did upgrade this as well. It's a hardened energy cell now. All right, so that's going to go there. We're going to get water underneath it. And then this tree oil. We're going to go this way with... Oh no. Uh-oh. Uh. Can we? <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. So that's going to do that. Right? That's going to go in there. We're going to put a servo. Alright, so this guy we need... On the left side. There we go. Actually, we shouldn't need a servo. That should just automatically out, right? And then if we just grab a bucket of water just to show, uh, I'll get an Oculus accumulator under it. That should, boom, start making power. And then this is filling up and everything's good. So that over there, that will come, this will just run forever. This here. Because it's constantly getting tree oil, or, you know, resin, right? There you go. And then it's constantly feeding into here, which I, I guess it... Mm. 
Oh, this isn't... Wait, what? Oh, that's interesting. We may need to upgrade, augment one of these. Because <laughs> this is supposed to, you know, produce the thing, put it into here, this burns it, which keeps this powery, right? But it's not... It seems like it's only producing the... Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so it seems like in this one, at least, in this version or this pack, it doesn't produce one every single time. Oh, it produced one that time. Wow, that burns really fat. Holy crap. Oh, rosin. Use. Smelts four times. Oh, it burns really, really fast. Okay, so that's part. That's 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 an issue. Uh, well, I mean, it's it's still <laughs> kind of working a little bit, maybe. Mm. <laughs> Crap. Yeah, it's just, it's not even producing one every time. That's okay. Okay. That's interesting. So that's the thing. It's whatever. It's whatever. I mean, hopefully it'll su at some point even out. Um, if not, we'll take we'll take another look at it. Maybe we got to get another fractioning. St I mean, I don't know. Uh, but the the important thing is that it's spitting tree oil over this way and going into there. Right? So you can see the tree oil's building up pretty well. Uh, we do need more water. Which I will get. And then it produces power. So this, it should produce quite a bit of power per bucket. I mean, obviously it depends on the configs and, and you know, all of that. But it should. And that should, yeah, that just goes, should go in there. It might, it might have like a bit of an issue getting up in there because again, it's affected by gravity pretty much. But I mean, that is a thing that has happened here. So all right, let's pull those out. Are you gonna, I think it has to wait for its next operation. There we go. So hopefully this will keep up. I mean, I, I'm kind of thinking it won't. Obviously, once everything's upgraded, it should. Um, and then, you know, once we're, we got more of this going on, we got more of this going on, I, I could set it up better. It'll be set up better. Don't worry. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but that's going to do it for today. We got, a, you know, a little bit of kind of infinite power a bit. <laughs> we don't have to constantly feed it stuff, uh, which is good. So it looks like this might heap up. Maybe. Um, obviously, next time we log in, we'll be able to see if that is, in fact, the case. But for today, that's going to do it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. We'll see y'all next time.